Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing a window card with you and it is very simple, it's um, easy to do and it really has an impact because um, of the window in it and I love the snowflakes on this card. So it just says from our ho home to yours and then you can just sign it on the bottom. But um, it, I'm using the stitched rectangles for this which makes this card so easy to do. So this is what I'm sharing today and I really like this one even though it's just um, simple and whisper white. <laughs> And actually, for the sentiment, I'm using the Smoky Slate because I wanted it to be more subtle. I didn't want stark um, tuxedo black in there, so I wanted to go with like a softer look for this one. So this is the card I'm sharing. All right, so let's get started. So you're going to need a piece of basic, a basic card that's five and a half by four and a quarter. This is Thick Whisper White. It makes it so much easier if you're using the Thick Whisper White for card making and it makes such a nice quality card. So like I said we are using the stitched rec or the rectangle stitch framelit which are these and I am using the next second largest of the the stitched um, rectangles and then for the snowflakes I'm using the layer seasonal layers and I'm using all three of the snowflakes from this one. It comes with three snowflakes and we're using just all three and they're all three different shapes and that is it besides our window sheet and so our window sheet is five and a quarter by four because you want it to fill the whole inside of the card so it looks nice and neat alright so the first thing we're gonna do is cut our window out for this and we'll go ahead and cut the snowflakes at the same time so we can um, save time Okay, so we're going to bring the big shot up here, and I think the first thing we'll do is cut out our snowflakes because I am using the um, precision platform for this because these are very fine. Um, there's a lot of detail in, in these snowflakes, so we're going to just go ahead and cut all three of these out at one time, and so you just need your, um, I'm actually using my magnetic platform with my precision platform which they don't always recommend they don't recommend <laughs> because of the how much ma magnet this is and it catches this really really easy and you can pinch your fingers so I'm giving you a warning if you use the precision platform with your magnetic platform be very very careful so we're going to just run these through and I'm going to run it back and forth because I want to make sure that they're all cut out really good. And then I'm going to remove, I'm going to just leave them on here because I'm going to use my little brush to get them out. And I'm going to remove this precision. And when you're doing that, just slide it off. That is the best way without catching your fingers. And then we're going to put our platform down and we're going to bring in our card and we are going to cut out our window with this. Now I recommend making sure and I want to make sure I have the right one here because I did pull out two of these and no this is the bigger one so we're going to use we're going to use the, the next one smaller so it's the third largest not the second. I thought that it looked a little bit odd so you want to make sure this is really centered well so I'm eyeballing it but I'm gonna to try to make sure I got it pretty pretty centered you can measure if you're really particular but we are going to run this one through we have that and this little piece here is going to be the piece that we're going to stamp on so we are not wasting any cardstock you're going to use this piece right here okay I'm still picking out these little red pieces from a project I did like two weeks ago there's a lot of little red pieces so you probably saw me do that video if you follow me very often 
All right, so we are going to put on our window sheet now. And the best way to do this is use wet glue because it will dry clear. And I'm getting low on this, so I'm hoping I have enough to do this card. We are going to put this around the edges. And then I just run my finger to make it really, really smooth. And yes, it's going to make your finger sticky. So be careful not to touch your window sheet once you have it. And then you're going to center that over that. And then just press it down. And when it dries, it's going to dry clear. I need to grab my little... I have a little paper towel here so I can wipe my fingers off because I don't want to get glue all over everything. All right, so there's our window. So it's very, very easy to do. And then we're gonna go ahead and stamp this piece right here. And we're gonna do the From Our House to Yours, which this one is from the Everything Festive. This is one of my favorite. You can use this for several Valentines. And you can use it for Trick or Treat. You can use it from our house to yours, just a plane from our house to yours for a party or anything like that, a Mary and Bright. This is a really nice one to have. And we're going to stamp that in Smoky Slate. And again, make sure you center this really good. So if I get my head in the way, I'm sorry, I'm going to try to get it centered here really good. And so it's very subtle, which I really like. I did add a wink of Stella to this. We're going to do that after. Now to get this centered in this piece here, it's going to be really easy. I'll show you that in a minute. I want to make sure this is all clear. So what you're going to do is you're just going to lay this on top. You're going to make sure that it is inside the other stitching. And then you are going to apply your glue. Make sure it's on your edges. And then you're just going to fold this one over. And give it a press. And your stitching will be right inside the other. And then you can press that down again if you want. So that's that. So let's go to our snowflakes here and I'm going to grab my little mat here and my brush and we're just going to go over these so we get all the little pieces off. Well that one lifted. But we can still There's a lot a lot of little pieces in these. So, let me grab my There's one. Here's our other one. I just got one in there. This one's going to probably be a pain because this one's got the most little things and it was the one that came out. Okay, so we have all three of our snowflakes ready. We'll move this out of the way. And we're ready to adhere these to the front. Now we're going to put one on the bottom. Now I, I tried to figure where I wanted this um, exactly. And I put most of the glue on just these little spots. where I know it's going to adhere and then I'm going to put it also on here but I'm doing it really lightly because I want it to dry clear I don't want it to show through the other side and so I'm going to kind of wipe that off a little bit and then set this here and you do have to hold that for just a minute because it is wet glue so I'm just going to hold it and then we're going to do the next one I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put 
a little bit heavier where it's going to contact the cardstock. And then I'm going to go a little bit lighter on the other side. And again, I'm just going to wipe a little bit off there and then place this one down. And then we have one more. And this one, I just do it really lightly because it's so small, it's going to adhere. And we'll put that one in the middle. A little more towards the bottom. Oops, didn't hold it down long enough. All right, so that is all of it. Now, what I did next is I took my Wink Estella, and it really did add to it. You could leave it just like this, and you could be done with it. But I just wanted to add a little Wink Estella, so I went over all the letters with the Wink Estella and the snowflakes. And you could put it on the snowflakes if you like. You don't have to. But it really gave it just a little sparkle. You probably can't even see it in here. I wish you could because it really did add a little bit to it. All right, so that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. It really is a fun one. And um, it's very, very simple to do. So I hope you all have a blessed day. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamori.com and shop for my blog. Have a blessed one, everyone. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.